good morning from our last stop on the cruise. Tomorrow we get off, but today we're at Castaway Key. Very excited, like I said last night, this is my favorite place to go on a cruise, Castaway Key. We're getting off kind of early. First we gotta go get some breakfast at Cabana's. Then we're gonna get off and go down to uh, our cabana on the island. I've got parasailing today, but uh, the whole reason I'm inside right now and not with the island behind me is because every time I go outside the camera gets foggy, but we're gonna go out and have a look at the island right now. Let's go look and see how the weather is on the island. All right, let's see how we do. Yeah, there's the island. You coming, bud? So, let's see how long we made it before the camera gets all fogged up. There it is. The island. Ooh, came out on the deck here because they're already parasailing out there. They have parasailing at 11. That's gonna be me soaring over top of the island. It's kind of funny because like, they're just the same height as us right now. So you get the same view as us. But we'll be able to look down into the water be nice. First stop, quick stop into Cabana's for a quick bite to eat. So we're headed down to the island now. I feel like we're the last ones on the ship. Yeah, there's definitely people still up in the pool. I know, but look, there's like hardly anybody out here. But we are taking the midship elevators because the forward ones are closed now. And we're getting a golf cart to the Cabana so oh, that Grandpa have, could come. Yeah, we have Grandpa. Grandpa. Ooh. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, look, buddy. It's Chip and Dale are here. See, they're very soft. They're friendly. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's turn around so yeah. the sun's not in your eyes, Jackson. Look at the sun this way. He's the one with the ideas. All right, you want to say hi to the chipmunks now, buddy? People are already heading back to the ship. There's a Ford trolley. here at our cabana. We got cabana number two. Here we are, welcome to your cabana. We'll head up the stairs. There's grandpa. They did set up a playpen for us, which is great. We got the pack and play. There's a couch here, a couple of tables, a couple of chairs to eat at. This area just to kind of set your stuff. What's in this closet? Oh, so this closet has a little basket of chips and snacks, some Kleenex, a safe, some big beach towels. And I think there's sunscreen in there as well. Let me see, let me pull out this, Let's see what's in there. Oh, just a couple of snacks. I think they refill it. We've got an extra, an extra bin of towels, a trash can, some plates, some silverware. I don't know what this is some flags we got a our refrigerator with some fresh fruit sodas waters I think they refill this throughout the day you can close these windows and even these shutter doors if it starts raining and then out here oh there's the sunscreen and a little table a little chase lounge this one's my favorite a little double lounger they gave us some sand toys. Jackson's already playing in the sand. And we have our own, our own hammock. And then right out here, we have some dedicated loungers and umbrella. And then look at the view of the ship. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Wow. I love it. This is awesome. Oh, and we're actually pretty close to Pelican Plunge, which Jackson, I think, is big enough to use. So today we're going to go down the slides with Jackson. But right now, Tim is parasailing. So when he comes back, we'll do that. And then here is a look at the cabana from the back. There's a nice shade sail. All right, so that has been your tour of cabana number two. Uh, let's get in here and, and enjoy this cabana. I want to get in the water. All right, I dropped everybody off at the cabana with all of the stuff. Now I'm headed to go do some parasailing up at the front. So it was like right at the bow of the ship, or right at the aft of the ship because where the par parasailing is. So we're gonna get to the cabana first, drop everything off. Now I'm headed back over there. Now this may seem like a strange transition, but I'm back on the ship because I need to use the bathroom and the closest one is on the ship from where the parasailing is. So I'm gonna show you where parasailing is once I get done using the bathroom, but I wanted to like run to the bathroom real quick first because 
I only have 20 minutes until the parasailing starts. All right, so I got off midship. There's some characters here. You can see Stitch out there meeting with guests. A little bit up the beach is Donald. All right, see you later, Donald. You're number one. I was hoping you were gonna come parasailing with me, but I understand you got better things to do. More important thing, oh wait, he wants to come with me. Ah, oh, I know, I know. Next time. Not quite sure what they're doing here. They're repairing like a pipe off to the side over there, but there is like this huge kind of like tugboaty barge thing here with a gigantic southern dredging and marine crane on it. Or like a mechanical hoe. But there's the view of our ship. So just to give you guys an idea, we got off the ship midship and we came through all this stuff. We saw Donald right about there. And we came through over here. And then this is the check-in area. This is called Marge's Barges. This is where we check in for parasailing. I don't know what else you would, there's Bob Iger's thing. I don't know what else you would check in for here. I'll find out really quick. Definitely parasailing. This is where you check in for parasailing, glass bottom boat tours and fishing called Marge's Barges. And it's before you even get to the tram stop over there. And then once you're checked in, you sign a waiver, then you kind of hang out right here on this deck until it's your time to go onto the boats. And just be aware, the closest bathroom that you can get to, deck two midship back there. Because the next bathroom on the island is a tram stop away. Pretty good walk, pretty good distance. So somebody just came out and just said, parasailing, parasailing right this way. And everybody's headed to follow him. Now we came onto the dock and they called about half of our group down to the first boat and the rest of us kind of stayed up here. One thing is that you have to have shoes that are easily removable because you leave them on the dock before getting onto the boat. Trying to figure out what that island was over there. See if we see any wildlife down there. No, I saw something like I saw a stingray. From up here? Been, that was on the boat. Oh, that okay. Is, I don't know what that is. That is. I feel like I don't know what any of this is. It seems so shallow though. Oh yeah, we're up higher now. nice. I feel like we're coming back down now. It's amazing walking it. You're like so worn out, but from up here, it looks so small. Put his finger up. Yeah. All right, we're all done with parasailing. And I do have to tell you guys, they put me up there with somebody that uh, wasn't with me. It was just somebody else on the boat. And they they said it was because it was too breezy today, which out there, it was very breezy. Here on the island, not very breezy at all. Also, I forgot to get some cash to tip them. So I have to run down to my wallet and then run back up here and tip them. So from Marge's Barges came to the very first tram stop, which is right next to it. You can see these two little roofs right here are Marge's Barges. We're on the very first tram stop. We have to get on two trams to get out to where our cabana is. We're at the first stop, which is Skull's Cove. We're going to the second stop for Pelican Point. We just stay on. So we're having lunch at Cookies 2 Barbecue. Let's have a look and see what they have in the buffet. They also have drinks and ice cream out here. They've got some fresh fruit over there. Then we can get some pasta salad. 
some grilled sweet corn salad, red skin potato salad, coleslaw, then we've got sliced smoky beef, barbecue beef brisket, flame grilled hamburgers, hot dogs, ribs, St. Louis style barbecue ribs, uh, Cajun spice roast history chicken, corn, honey bourbon glazed salmon back there, some sauerkraut, some chili beans, and then we've got just potato chips, a brownie, it's in there. A Texas cornbread, which is like cornbread with a little bit of jalapeno in it. Lemon raspberry cake. Cookies, that's all that I want, just cookies. And then it's the same thing over there. And then of course out here is all the drinks and ice cream. Yeah. So we're having lunch at Cookies 2 Barbecue. And it's actually really convenient because Cookies 2 Barbecue is right here. And this is the entrance to the cabanas and we're cabana number two. And I think that just has to do with the fact that we got our email in as early as possible for trying to reserve it. So I think there was only one person ahead of me and they're in cabana one. But this is like the third or fourth time, or the third time that we've gotten cabana number two. All right, Jackson, you ready? That's okay, oh yeah. Jackson, what are we gonna go do right now? What is it? Going with real daddy goggles. Going with real daddy goggles. We're gonna go snorkeling together. All right, let's do it. So as soon as I got back to the cabana, I set my lunch down and I said, where's Jackson? I went down to the water and I saw Jackson. He said, let's go to the splash pad right now. And so I ate my hot dog really quick and now we're headed to the splash pad. So we're in the splash pad and they've added a covering over top of it, which is nice. It keeps it in the shade now. I don't remember this covering being here before. Whoa, has this always been here, buddy? I don't remember this either. It's like a broken pipe looking thing here. Huh, and it just kind of sprays water. Every once in a while. So there it is. Take a shower. Good times. I feel like they adjusted some of the like settings on these things. They used to be way more like these used to spray all the time. Maybe they're like down. This one's not spraying at all. One of the joys of a Disney cruise, and especially Castaway Key, ice cream. They have banana and mango and chocolate and vanilla. So we came from over there. That's where Cookies 2 is and where our Cabana is and we're heading this way to pick up some snorkeling gear and then we're gonna get in the snorkeling reef so included in the cabana we get free snorkel and everything so we went to flippers and fins right here and was that pelican plunge is right there and we're right behind it as well as where you would get your floats and things like that and we're going down to the left over here and we're gonna get in the water all right so the idea was to go snorkeling with Jackson but what's going on bud that's too, that's too silly the mask is too silly yeah, yeah. So this was his first time trying to wear a, a snorkeling mask, like a scuba mask, and he didn't like it. So, we have some goggles back at the cabana. You want to get those and try again, or do you want to just go down Pelican Plunge? I'll go down in Pelican Plunge. You're not going to have your goggles down Pelican Plunge. Are you okay with that? Yeah, but um, I need to, I need to take these off. Oh yeah, he liked the fins though. Fins were fun, right? Things were fun. Okay, let's go set this stuff down. But that will make me slip and fall. Yeah, you can't walk around with fins on. So let's get our, um, put our stuff on a, on a chair or something and we'll go down Pelican Plunge. All right, bud, you ready? We'll try the open slide first, right? They're not very big, are they? Like standing over here, we've been down bigger slides than this, right? The yellow slide on the cruise ship's bigger. So this is Pelican Plunge. And it said, any riders between 38 and 48 have to wear a Disney provided life vest. So we have like water wings and we don't have to wear, we can't wear the water wings on this. We have to wear this life vest. Because of the fish? Yeah. What, you can see them right there. Look at them all. Little guppies. A bit of a line. You excited for it, Jackson? Yeah, you love water slides, don't you? Like father, like son. All right, so you wait for the lifeguard to tell you when to go, all right? I guess I could go down the closed one, buddy, and I'll meet you down there. You want to go at the same time? No, okay, I'll go down first. Yeah. Oh, me? All right, wait till, wait till he tells you to go, buddy, okay? Go. Oh. Whee! <laughs> All right. This one's fun. It's nice and slow. I think Jackson will be able to handle this one. No problem. The only problem is this drop at the end. I don't know how he's going to do with this. But I'll be right here to get him. Let's see how he does. Here he is. Come on over, bud. Uh, I just... 
Just the salt water's getting you? Yes, go on my mom. All right, let me see. I can stand up here. All right, so what'd you think? I liked it. You liked it? You want to go down the fast one now? Yeah. Yeah? I go at the same time now. Okay, I'll go down the dark one, you go down the open one? No, I'm going to go down the closed one, you're going to go down the open one. Okay. <laughs> All right. You sure you want to do that? Yeah. All right. We got to do a race. Okay. All right, buddy. You're going to go in the closed slide, right? <laughs> All right. It's going to be fast. Mommy's looking for us over there. So we got to get down quick and find her. Go. Okay, go ahead. I got to beat him. I got to beat him. I got to be at the bottom when he gets there. Let's see how he does. What if he's down there before me? I'm going kind of quick. We'll see. There he is. <laughs> you beat me. All right, our time on the island is nearing a close. And it's pretty interesting because like about halfway, like two o'clock, people start clearing off the island in droves. So it's about, it's like 3.30 right now. I think we're supposed to be off the island by 4.30. So we're headed up to Pelican Point, which is where, by the seashore. It's just a little one. We're gonna stop there really quick. Then we'll get on the tram and head up to Scuttles Cove, which is where the other gift shop is. And then we will be able to do a little bit of shopping before we get back on the boat. We're back on the ship. All right, so we stopped by C She Sells and everything else. They just crossed off seashells. They don't sell any seashells at all. Let's have a look and see what they have in here. There's some lounge flies. These are specific to Disney Cruise Line lounge flies for $78. Lots of bathing suits and things like that. And then a lot of towels. And then there's a whole wall of t-shirts. I like this one. It kind of looks like Miami Vice. Ocean Air, not a care. I like that one because it's goofy with a surfboard. Uh, get there fast and take it slow. I like it because it reminds me of a Jimmy Buffett shirt, even though it is a uh, Beach Boys lyric. This Castaway and Chill shirt, look at Olaf, huge and melting. I kind of like how ridiculous this one is. Like it makes no sense. What is this snowman made out of? Another Day in Paradise, Castaway Key, Bahamas. That one's fun. It's like surfing, even though you can't surf here. Jen has this, she, she bought it a long time ago as a night shirt. She bought like an extra, extra large. It's pretty interesting the like array of shirts they have. I really, really, really like this one, but I can't find it. We can find this one, but I can't find this one. Kind of like this Hey Hey one too. Oh, they are also our Castaway Key inflatable ears for Cruise Line for $35. All right, we're done shopping. Just as like an FYI, that last gift shop is very hot inside. I would definitely hit that first thing in the morning when you get on the island. I know it will be a little bit uh, inconvenient carrying things around all day, but you will get better size choices and you will be cooler. The rest of the family opted to take the tram. You can see it back there behind me. I'm taking the baby in the stroller and walking back. They say it's a seven minute walk from the first tram stop to the ship. We'll see who gets there first. Something that we missed today is on the way out as you're doing this walk, the advantage is you get to see characters. Like this is where Mickey and Minnie would might be sitting and you get pictures with them. But if you take the tram, you miss out on some of the character photos. Okay, so they beat me just by a minute because the baby got upset and I had to stop and give Miss Pippi, oh, calm sure, him down. Sure, sure, blame the baby. Just saying. Sure. Oh, That's I forgot happened. to bring, I had some uh, postcards to send to the cousins. Oh, no, I yeah, because there is. There's a post office no, here. In, line oh. right in the shade of the cruise ship. Feels nice. Yeah, Donald's up there. You want to say hi to Donald? Yeah. Have you seen Donald this? Oh, you want to say hi to him? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. What are you, you showing him your glasses? Oh, yes. You want to put them on? Oh, They're upside down, buddy. Flip them over. Turn them around. There, there we go. go. <laughs> oh, there you go. Cool. Now you look cool. Oh, you look awesome. Can you, yeah. cross, can you cross your arms like Donald right now? Yeah. Look at, oh, there you go. Perfect. Look Now put your back to Donald. Just like turn around and lean up against his back. Just like that. There you go. You look awesome. All right, Jackson. This is the last time we're getting back on the cruise ship. The next, tomorrow morning, we're getting off and going back home. Wah, 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 wah. This is the first time on Castaway Key I didn't go snorkeling. I always go snorkeling. I didn't go this time.
atrium time now. It's time for dinner. There's Mulan and Pluto, and we are going to the Royal Court. Playing like a jazzed up version of the Peanuts song. All right, let's see here. What do we got on the menu here? The tuxedo. So tonight everybody's wearing their tuxedos. Oh, all the cast members are wearing their tuxedos. Yeah. So for appetizers, I might get the eight prosciutto. Or the braised oxtail soup, though. Mm. What do you think about this? Lobster tail. That's what everybody says. It's lobster tail night. It's lobster night. Yeah, roasted red snapper, too, though. Fettuccine with parmesan crusted chicken. Pan, pan seared venison. Oven roasted pork tenderloin. This is like the most adventurous night, for sure. Is it? I think so. Look at these things. I want to try this. The Thai red pumpkin and coconut curry? Yeah. I'm actually going to try something on the lighter note. I'm going to try the, I've been looking at this entire cruise. Every cruise we go on, I look at it. But I'm going to try the grilled grain-fed sirloin steak. Do it. Grandpa got the lightly breaded baked eggplant filled with sweet ricotta and mozzarella served on Toscano sauce and drizzled with aged balsamic. This is the marinated tiger shrimp with celery hearts and remoulade, or remoulade. And then I got the aged prosciutto served with sun-dried tomatoes, Parmesan cheese, and roasted garlic. So they just came and deshelled my lobster, but picture this in the lobster shell with the potato, the, the lemon, the screaming children, and the asparagus. Um, but they de they deshell it for you, which is really nice touch on the side of the table there. Ooh, look at this! Wow, clarified butter. Yum! Thank you. Thank you so much. I also got the Thai red pumpkin and coconut curry with steamed bok choy and sticky rice. This just sounded good and it actually smells really good. So I got them both. But it's the last night, you know? Gotta go a little wild. I went with the, at the bottom of the menu there is a section called on the lighter side. And this is a grilled sirloin steak, mashed potatoes and vegetables. So we got the captain's table sundae. Mint chocolate night. chip ice cream, meringue on top there. Oh, look at all that chocolate sauce in there. Delicious. Is that Earthworm Jim? I don't know. <laughs> they put my glasses on him. What's he reading? He's reading. This is like, here's how you get off the ship. Get, leave. What is he? Is it a oh, shrimp? It's, the, it's the information about concierge deck. It's like the deck is open from this time to this time. What is, what do you, I, I couldn't have guessed this. What? What is it? I don't know. Just a little guy. It's just a little guy. It's like a, a bird, I think. He's haunted. You know what I noticed about this trip? It's me? We never went on the concierge like deck once. Like oh, the outside me and Jackson deck. did. Did you? Yeah. I never went one time. Yeah, we showed it off. It's oh. air conditioned up there. The it's, it's got some sort of ventilation. Dang. Wow. What is this thing, Jackson? A bird? A bird? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, well, now we know. Good morning from Port Canaveral. It's our day of getting off the cruise. This is the one day that Jackson slept in. <laughs> right? I mean, he, yeah, it's still pretty early. Yeah. 6.45 right now. But he's been getting up. Yeah, I guess you're right. Like, now, he'll probably get up now. Yeah. But we're here. Look at the yeah, port. Port Canaveral. The sunrise is very nice, actually. So we're already fogged up. Sunrise, it's beautiful. I don't know what that beeping is. There's been like a beeping out here all. I don't. Did you hear the beeping? They might not hear it. Yeah. But it's just a constant beeping out here. It sounds like it's like one room over or something. Hmm. We did use the hot tub last night for one last time. Oh, let's get back inside. It's too foggy. So what happened last night is we had dinner, finished dinner, and then we had to come <laughs> up here and pack up and get the kids to sleep at the same time. So. If you're not aware of this, in order to check your bags out, you can carry your luggage off the ship if you want to. <laughs> but if you would like for them to take it downstairs for you, mm -hmm. and then you don't have to worry about it, you can like just take your carry-on stuff out. You can check luggage off the ship too. So in order to check luggage off the ship, you have to have it outside of your door by 10 p.m. And if we finished dinner at like 8, that give us two hours to pack up the entire room and get both kids to sleep. So it was all hands on deck until 10 o'clock last night. 
and then everybody was asleep. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, I'm not gonna film anything else because everybody's asleep. All that happened was we went, packed up the room, then we sat out in the hot tub for five minutes, literally five minutes, and then came inside. Well, we sat, we sat on the deck for a minute and like listened to the people above us. Oh yeah, you can hear people on deck 13 being like, like a party going on. I'm drunk. <laughs> Which I, I don't know why you would why you would do that. You have to wake up like you have to wake up at six a.m. No, yeah, it sounds horrible. Actually, I take that back. If you have the early dinner, then you have to get off the ship early. Mm -hmm. If you have the late dinner, you get off later. There's always people from the early dinner that are like, "Can I just go to the late breakfast?" Right. <laughs> we never do that, but I know that they sometimes will let you. So oh. our breakfast is scheduled for seven a.m. this morning. Because we're staying concierge level, we're just going to go get some food from the lounge, eat it in here, and then by 7.45, we have to be in the lounge, and they'll escort us off the ship so we don't have to wait in the line. Yeah. It's going to be a hectic morning, for sure. All right. Our bags are packed up. Goodness gracious. We, we got, got so cards, much stuff. So Grandma and Grandpa got all their stuff. Yeah, they came wal waltzing oh. in with one little tiny bag. I know, yeah. We because this is the bag that Grandma gave us. Oh, what did you guys think? Give us your one-word review. Oh, it was great. That's two words. <laughs> that was three words. Rest, restful. Restful. Oh, that was oh, good, yeah. Good. Grandpa yeah. was asleep on this back patio every day. <laughs> Don't have to wash dishes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh Jackson yeah. loved the doorbell. That was Jackson's favorite thing. All right. See you later, cruise ship. We, I don't know when we're... Oh, we're going to be back on the Fantasy or in the middle of next year. But we will also be on a cruise when Oliver starts crawling. So look out for that because we got to get him in those baby races. Let's just have one last look around. The Empire State Express. The New York Central. I wish I had read these books. Oh man. Let's see here. See you later, bed. Are we missing anything? I don't think so. I think we got everything. See you later, windows. Let's have one last look. There it is. See you later, shower. See you later, toilet. See you later, jacuzzi tub. See you later, sinks. All right, that's enough saying goodbye to the room. So we're headed down to the lounge by 7.45, and they're going to escort us off the ship. Never noticed this. So each ship has a godmother, and the godmother of the Disney fantasy is Mariah Carey, and here's a picture of her at the christening. Also, if you're wondering how to get off the ship, you got to wait till they call your luggage tag that you put on your checked baggage yesterday. Oh, well, here's all the cast members getting on for the first time. All right, we're back home. This is an interesting sign. All right, so we are all packed up, almost. Well, we're pretty much packed up. Whoa, look at that. Cars on cars on cars. Right? <laughs> now all I gotta do is put two more bags in and those just go underneath the kids' feet. Yeah. Good to go. That was pretty okay. It was a, a pretty seamless uh, disem de embarkation disembarkation? Yeah. Getting off the ship. Debarkation. Debarkation, pretty good. Bye, Disney Fantasy. We'll See miss you. you real soon. I hope so. Yeah, you know, I mean, we already have one book. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> it's so gray and gloomy, I think, because we're leaving. Yeah, it's supposed to rain all day today. Is it? Yeah. Oh. All right, we'll see you later, everyone. We had the best cruise ever. All right, so we are back home after the cruise. That was a very, very nice cruise. It was a good way to spend a week, for sure. Yeah. The room was fantastic. Every bit of food that we had was fantastic. The destinations were amazing. Although we did not get off the ship in Puerto Rico, we're super bummed about it. That's something that um, I want to do this this itinerary again, and or just go to Puerto Rico. Yeah. You don't have to necessarily cruise to go there. You can just go there. But I'd like to do it again and get off the ship and see everything. When I was looking, because I actually looked to see if we could book another one with Puerto Rico, and the other Eastern Caribbeans go to like other islands oh like tortola okay. uh it wasn't it wasn't puerto rico so this it, it was kind of interesting to see oh okay. so we'll have to like do more do a little bit more research on that and see if we can book another one that does go to puerto rico and i i kind of want to go back to saint martin because after talking oh. to our friend chris pratt he yeah. said that his that is his favorite caribbean island he said that they spent three weeks there i i for sure would love to go back because we just did, we didn't have a lot of time with the medical emergency the day before so we missed we missed a big chunk of the day there, unfortunately. Right. Uh, so yeah, we just got to go again. Yeah. <laughs> but we also had a really great time with Tim's parents. I I love cruising with them. It was nice to be able to spend like dinner with them and like the days with them. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, 
And Jackson had a really good time on the cruise. He got to go down a new slide, the Aqua Mouse. Yeah. Or the Aqua Duck, sorry. And the ones on Castaway Key. So those, he technically, last time we went, they said that he could go down them. But I just thought they were maybe a little bit too advanced for him at that point. So going on them this time was a, a fun new experience for him. And Oliver got to go in his very first splash pad. Yeah. And he loved it. We loved the splash pad. We had so much fun. If you haven't seen the full series like from this cruise week, I'm going to link it down below so you can check it out because there was just a lot of firsts, a lot of good times. It was just a really great week. So yeah. I hope you check out all the videos. So we will have one more video in this cruise series where we go over the haul, all the things that we got on the cruise. We got some really fun like Halloween merch. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll show you that in the next cruise video. But also, we just had, we wanted to know if you guys had any questions because we've done like quite a few Disney cruises yeah. now. If you have any questions that you want us to answer about Disney cruising specifically or our opinions on anything or I don't know, just anything, let us know in the comments down below because we'll do a little bit of a Q&A in the next haul video too. Yeah. So all in all, it was a fantastic trip. Thank you guys so much for coming and joining us on this cruise week adventure. Yeah. We hope you had as much fun as we did and... Uh, let us know if I know a lot of you guys have said, you know, you'd like to see us try another cruise line and we're totally like we want to try that as well. Let us know what you think we should try. Do you have any experiences that you want to share with us? Yeah. Yeah. So all in all, a fantastic cruise. And with that being said, we're off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>